Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next episode in my TV scaries. By now you probably know the concept behind this series. In each video I discuss a horror themed TV episode from a TV show that is not typically horror themed. This week's episode though does in fact come from a TV series which dabbled in horror from time to time. The episode is titled Four Scary Stories and it's from Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek is a teen drama that premiered in 1998 and ran for six seasons through 2003. Along the way it featured four completely horror themed episodes. There were other horror elements throughout the series as well. Dawson, the main character of the show, is a filmmaker. In the first season he makes a monster movie, and in the last season he makes a slasher film. The show also featured stars and guest stars who also played in horror movies. I plan to discuss all of the horror themed episodes of Dawson's Creek at some point. In fact, I already reviewed The Scare from season 1 during the Slashback Challenge earlier this year. That episode plays out exactly like a slasher film, which is why I reviewed it for Slashback. The episode I will be discussing in this video though, Four Scary Stories, is a horror anthology episode, and it comes from the fifth season of Dawson's Creek. It begins with Pacey, Joey, and Jack returning to Graham's house after seeing a horror movie at the local cinema. It's late and the moon is full. The three friends discuss how desensitized they are to horror and I know a lot of us can definitely relate to that. They believe the scariest things of all are the things that can really happen, so they decide to tell some scary stories of their own. Scary stories that happen to be true. This is sort of the wraparound segment. After each story we come back to Graham's house to see Pacey, Joey, and Jack, but as they tell the stories we are witnessing them as if they are happening right now. You know, like any other horror anthology. Joey is the first to tell her story, and hers takes place on Halloween night. As a matter of fact, my wife and I watch this episode around Halloween time every year, because it's very atmospheric and gets us in the Halloween spirit. Audrey is trying to get Joey to go with her to a Halloween party, but Joey decides to stay behind at the library to study instead. Audrey, who is dressed like Carrie White from the Stephen King novel and movie for Halloween, mercilessly tries to get Joey to attend the party. She even warns her that a girl was recently attacked at the very same library. Joey claims she will be fine because there are plenty of people around, so Audrey heads out to the party. As the night goes on, the library gets emptier and emptier until Joey is left with one other guy who has been watching her the whole time. She gradually becomes creeped out more and more, but she must finish her reading assignment. It seems that Audrey was right all along, and Joey soon finds herself in a game of cat and mouse, fighting for her life. When her story is complete we are taken back to Graham's house, where Jack begins his story. His takes place at his frat house, where he and two other pledges are spending the night cleaning out the basement. Once again it is very late and very dark. Jack suddenly becomes ill. He's nauseous, dizzy, and feels like he's going to faint. And let me just say this scene works so well. You can almost feel what he's feeling. And then he finds another pledge, tied up and on the verge of losing consciousness himself. But all is not what it seems. While the first segment featuring Joey was more of a slasher story, this one plays out like a supernatural tale. The third story is Pacey's, and it's an urban legend, which is coincidental since Joshua Jackson, who plays Pacey, starred in Urban Legend. It's the classic high beams story. Pacey is driving with his love interest at the time, Karen. It's once again very late and very dark. A black car drives by them, going in the opposite direction. The car does not have its lights on, so Pacey flashes his high beams. And just as the urban legend goes, the car takes a swift U-turn and begins following Pacey and Karen. The two are almost driven off the road, but Pacey manages to drive them to safety. He pulls into the parking lot of a diner, and they head inside to use the phone. But once they are inside, 
This segment features one of the most uncomfortable and unsettling scenes in the entire episode. As Pacey and Karen look out the window of the diner, they find the black car parked just outside, waiting for them. When this story comes to a close, Grams comes downstairs to find Pacey, Joey, and Jack. They invite her to tell a story of her own, but she decides to tell a story involving Jen instead. She claims it is the scariest thing that has ever happened to Jen, and that Jen was never able to talk about it since. It's dark, and Jen is working very late at the radio station, all by herself. But she might not actually be alone, because it seems someone is stalking her just outside. She hears what she thinks is a voice, but later determines it might be a branch scratching the window. She heads outside of the radio station while a song is playing, in an attempt to snap the twig off the tree. And she mistakenly locks herself out in the back alley of the station. She hears the creepy sound again, and this time knows it's a voice whispering her name. This episode of Dawson's Creek, and particularly this segment, is pretty infamous because Jen swears. In the end, it was Graham's story that was most terrifying of all, leaving Pacey, Joey, and Jack too frightened to head out into the night to return home. That's literally it. This entire episode was a horror anthology. As I mentioned earlier, my wife and I watch this episode every Halloween season. It's clearly a horror-themed episode, and I recommend it to any horror fan. Even if you're not a fan of Dawson's Creek, or if you've never seen an episode, check this one out. It's a standalone episode, and you don't need to watch the rest of the series to enjoy it. Next time on The Horror Man's TV Scaries, I'll discuss an animated horror-themed TV episode. Cartoon in to find out what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Be kind. Subscribe.